So today is Monday and I'm doing a different kind of video. I recently got into contact with an old member from my wrestling team. He was a heavyweight and I saw he posted on Snapchat that he just got done with a MMA fight. As you guys know, when I get to 10K subs, I'm going to try and vlog every day my MMA training and then eventually go into an MMA fight. So like this piqued my interest. He said that I could react to his videos. His name is Gabe Rednose. You can check out his Instagram right here. He's a big motherfucker. Like this is a big, big dude. Like he was like twice my size when I wrestled with him or when like we were on the same team. I never actually wrestled him because he was so much bigger than me. But I remember one time distinctly, like one time I was in the laundry room with like, there were two different dorms in my college campus. And I was in like the other dorms laundry room hanging out with my friends cause they were doing laundry or some shit. And in comes Gabe, doom, 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 doom. Like big ass dude, he walks into the door. He opens like the front load laundry thing. He puts in all of his clothes. He slams it shut and fucking bends the door. Literally, he slammed it so hard, he bent the door. He was like, fucking piece of shit. Like, like, he just, like, completely by accident, he just fucking smacked this thing shut, bent the entire door. Okay, so this is a big-ass dude. I would not fuck with him. I feel like if he punched me, it would hurt like a bitch. But he actually has two fights, and we're going to watch them both. So let's just jump right into it, you guys. Okay, Gabe's the one in the green shorts on the left. 256. He said he wants to cut down to 240 for his next fight. From what I remember, he was a pretty good wrestler. I, he was either second or third in line. And we had a bunch of heavyweights. We had like five or six heavyweights. And I think he's from Oklahoma. He's from like some, I'm pretty sure it's a very like rural area. And get started. Goes for a leg kick. Oh, slip those punches. Needs to, uh, Needs to the leg. He's got an over under, it looks like. What's he gonna do with that? Damn, they're off standing the way. Doesn't look like anything crazy is happening. Push into, oh shit. He goes for a lat drop. Damn, dude. He's in side control. I would not want to be here. I'm telling you guys, this dude is huge. He's like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, or some shit. Boom, boom, oh shit. He's hitting him right in the fucking head. He puts legs in, a heavyweight putting legs in. He gets back control, he gets his hooks in. Did he choke him out? I thought he got a fucking, I thought he got a TKO. God damn. Keeps those hips high. That's good. Damn, dude. He said he didn't go to a, he didn't do a camp for this. He just showed up and fought. He must be gassed. He must be so tired. Damn. Oh shit. <laughs> He's in half card. This is where I got stuck in my in my jiu-jitsu tournament. I just kept on getting stuck in half card. But I mean it's not that bad. Oh, he's going for a for a Kimura or an Americana. That ref's leg is in the way. Am I crazy? Oh, he's just ground and pound. Dude. This dude's taking a lot of shots to the head. Oh shit, dude. This dude's taking a bunch of shots to the head. Ooh. God damn. Dude, he has some heavy hands. He, like, his hand was like... His fist was like the size of my head. This kid is huge. God damn! A TKO in the first round. I think he got in like a minute 56 or something. Bro, he, I'm telling you, that man's hands are so strong and heavy. Like, 
he would put him on my shoulder or something and it would take up my whole shoulder. Like you do not want to be beat by this kid. Here's a second fight and I think in, I think he finished this guy too. But let's watch it. I'm not sure how it ends. <gasps> oh, he goes for a double leg. Turns a corner. Boom, boom, boom. He's in good side control. He tries to go in the mount, but he gets in putting half guard. Uh, oh, this guy looks like a pretty decent wrestler. He's trying to get back up. Oh, but the spin behind. Gig got that spin behind. Oh, <laughs> and he like suplexed him. He had the spin by him. He got the spin behind. He stood up. He locked around him and. I'm like, I guess it's the mat return. This dude's doing a pretty good job trying to get back up. But he's got to decide whether he wants. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, I'm telling you. This dude has some heavy, heavy hands. Like. <laughs> And he works a lot, so he didn't have a camp for this either. I'm pretty sure. Ooh! Got him completely stretched out. Got him completely stretched out. Ooh, he's right under the chin. He's right under the chin. Nah, he's... he's, he's Oh, he tapped! Hey, 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 good shit, Gabe. That was raw. Hang on, let, let's go back for a second and see this beautiful transition. It went. It looked like he was gonna hit, try and hit a cradle, right? It looked like he was about to try and hit a cradle. Now this dude stands like he goes to his knees. He opens his chest up, and Gabe just puts the rear naked joke in. Right, uh, he just sinks it in, super deep, super, super deep. It's crazy to see someone that big move like that. Cause like every heavyweight that I know or have wrestled with wrestles like a very specific way. They move very slowly. They don't really level change. They don't shoot like that. They definitely don't hit lat drops like that. Gabe Rednose is definitely a thug. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out my Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash wrestle. Check out my Patreon. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.